Today we're going to be making an art project inspired by Pablo Picasso. He was a Spanish painter and sculptor. Cubism means that there's a lot of geometrical shapes within the picture. And also, if you look at these faces, you can see more than one point of view. You can see like a profile or the side of the face with also the front of the face. Um, we're going to be making a picture inspired by his flowers that he painted. If you'll notice over here on the left, he could paint beautiful flowers in a vase that looked very realistic. But later on, he started drawing. This one here is a little bit more simplified. This one was drawn or painted to represent or to convey hope and rebirth. It's called Bouquet of Peace. So this is the one that we're going to make today. Okay, so here's the project that we're making. Uh, we've got our hand holding a bouquet of flowers. Let's get started. So here's my background paper. I'm going to uh, draw my hand. So I'm just going to lay my hand flat on the paper and hold my pencils right up, st upright, straight. Go around each one of my fingers. And finish up. Cut it out with scissors. Get rid of my trash. Okay, so I've got my hand here. I'm going to just lay it here on the side and go ahead and this one I'm I'm going to fold my fingers over like they're holding the flowers. So you can make it two different ways. You could just leave your hand flat with the stems underneath, or you can try what I'm doing here to make it a little bit different. You could use just strips of green construction paper to make your stems like that. Or on this one, if you don't have green construction paper, you could use yarn. Let me glue my hand down first. Just put some glue on the back. I'm going to start it from right over here on the edge of the paper toward the bottom. Okay, remember I'm leaving these up. Now I'm going to lay a piece of yarn on there and I'm going to start down here at the bottom and just make a straight line up for my yarn. And I'm just gonna lay it on top, press it down and we'll put another one. And one more. And stick that down. Now, now I'm going to fold these over like that, like they're holding the stems of flowers. So I need a few glue dots on the end of those fingers. I can come right over like that and hold them down for a couple of seconds so that they dry. Now we're going to start working on our flowers. I'm going to take a cupcake liner. I've got some colorful spring colors. We're working on spring flowers this week also. So I'm just going to fold it in half and then fold it again. And if you want to, you could fold it one more time. I've folded it three times. On this curved end where the ridges are, I'm just going to cut down in there to the edge of the ridges toward the middle and then unfold it and I've got a flower. On this cupcake liner, it's white on the back, but I don't want to use that color. I'm going to use my bright spring color. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue right here in the center and I'm going to put it right there, press it down at the end of my yarn flower stem. I'll take another one, fold it in half, fold it over, and one more time. And this time, I'm going to cut some petals or curves. And then when I unfold it, 
and get rid of the trash. When I unfold it, I'll have my petals on my flower. I'm going to pull them up so they stand up a little 3D. Put some glue right in the center and put that one over here at the top of that one. Press it down. I've got one more. I think I'll make three flowers. Fold this one over. And this time I could cut the sides a little bit and then cut right down into it like that. You can just create your own flowers however you want to cut into it. They'll all look beautiful. Unfold it. Glue it right in the middle. And I'll put it right up here. So that I have a bouquet. If you wanted to and you have extra construction paper or a cupcake liner, I'm going to take this bright yellow and what you could do is fold it over and then I'm going to cut it out shorter than the others. I'm going to cut down into it and then unfold it. It's quite a bit smaller. It's half, as, half the size. Put a little dot in the middle and then I could put this right in the middle of my other one. So it's like a double flower or the center of the flower. And there you have your bouquet of spring flowers inspired by Pablo Picasso. Here's the original one. Good luck.